Sweeping change is expected across the state in tomorrow's local government elections. Almost half of the mayors and councillors across the 73 councils are set to be replaced. Rates, roads and rubbish. A month after the state election, the focus is now on grassroots politics. More than 1,530 candidates are standing for 561 positions tomorrow, although 10 mayors and 34 councillors have already been elected unopposed. The Local Government Association predicts a high turnover this year, with up to 45% of positions set to change hands. In some cases it may be deserved, in others it might be a situation where many mayors uh, will bear the brunt of decisions they've had to take because of Brisbane. The minister says the relationship between the state government and local councils has broken down in recent years. And I offer an olive branch to all of those new incoming mayors and councillors and those who are returned that from Sunday that relationship starts afresh. In Brisbane, the Labor Lord mayoral candidate has released his policy costings of $663 million. Uh, after taking into account identified savings of $400 million, uh, the net impact of our election commitments is $266 million. If elected, he'll invite private investors to share the cost of the Milton Road Tunnel. Well, it's not an asset, it's a liability. You know, legacy way, the only legacy legacy way is leaving us is a liability. And he's determined to keep rate rises at inflation or less. Where there's a will, there's a way. I'll cap... No, no, I'll cap rates to inflation in the first four years. The Lord Mayor says Mr Smith's figures don't add up. And he says Labor committed to release its costings earlier. They then made a commitment that they would do it well in advance of two days out. Well, here we are on the eve of the election. He says voters are looking forward to a break from politics. They've had a long campaign, the state campaign, and uh, I think they just want it over with. They want us all to get on with the job. One day to go. Deirdre Hazel, ABC News, Brisbane.